This past weekend, South Africa's uh, Sivanati Nonchenga retained his IBF at light flyweight title for the first time when the boxer, known as uh, the Special One, outpointed the mandatory challenger Reggie Suganov from the Philippines over 12 rounds at the International Convention Center in East London. Joining us now to speak more about this is his trainer, Colin Nathan. A very good evening and welcome to Newsroom Africa. A fantastic victory for Nonchenga. Yeah, thanks, Valen. It's great to be on your platform, and thanks for the opportunity. I thought Sivanati proved that he was a special one with a special display of boxing skills, out-hustling and out-skilling and out-boxing out Reggie Suganov. I thought it was just such a mature, measured performance. You know, with only 12 fights now, I, th I thought he showed a lot of maturity, and I think he's one of those world champions that's just going to develop. I don't even think he's in his prime yet. It's also incredible to think about the fact that he became a world champion only on his 11th outing. Yeah, I mean, listen, he's never shied away from a challenge. I mean, after nine fights, he engaged in an IVF world title eliminator. He won that against Cristiano Arenetta. And, um, and his fight with Hector Flores was the IVF fight of the year. So that was an absolute war. I thought Sunday in East London was an absolute boxing clinic. And like I'm saying, he showed lots of maturity, and I think he's still developing as a world champion, and I think he hasn't even reached his prime yet. And there's still areas of his game which is developing, fighting on the inside, also, you know, figuring out the range. He did really, really well in the first round with that right hand on the knockdown. was just scintillating. This was his mandatory challenge that he had to fight, according to the IBF. He now has the opportunity to pick some... Uh, his own title defenses uh, in the next couple of fights? Yeah, so basically we have five months or six months to, to do a voluntary title defense. Uh, I suspect that might be overseas, probably looking at Matram engaging with us in the next couple of weeks to discuss and map out the future. Jonathan Gonzalez, the WBO counterpart champion, has been calling us out. There's a funny meme uh, a couple of weeks ago with us running away from him and I instructed Sivanati not to answer him back and let's focus on what we had to do with Reggie Suganov. But that's also in the pipeline. So, you know, I think the next step is, obviously right now we're just at South African Boxing, we're just enjoying this moment. Successfully him defending his world championship at the Mecca, in the Mecca of South African Boxing in East London. Um, first time a legitimate, credible world championship has been held in South Africa in over seven years. And the first time in over 11 years in East London. So it's just a great moment for South African boxing. But the voluntary position is something that obviously we're going to entertain in the next couple of weeks. It was meant to be a wonderful celebration of boxing. It was a fantastic event. But we went into the fight card knowing that fighters had to reduce their purses. And our world champion was getting less then the challenges, some fighters and some fights that were expected to be on the card weren't on the card. How did we get here when boxing has done so much where the promoter couldn't get sponsors? Well, I think that's just kind of testament to, to you know, people actually not doing enough of the sport. Um, and, and I appeal to anyone out there who, who really is a boxing fan, who's, who's got funding, who wants to get involved in the sport, be it in the private sector as well, but it just kind of shows you from an administrative perspective and boxing how, how much work is actually needed to, 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 be, to be put into the sport. And, you know, I don't want to dwell on the negatives. The fight happened and went over the line, and we got the victory, and dreams were made, um, goals were set, and it was just a great atmosphere being at the Orient, sorry, not at the Orient Theatre, that's another mecca, at the ICC Convention Centre with three, 4,000 fans cheering Sibinati on. And, and for me and, and for the team and, and for Rumble Africa Promotions, it was just a, a momentous occasion, you know, just walking out to that song, I'm coming home, and it was just, just incredible. It's, it's memories that... They're going to live with me in my boxing career forever. It's one of the, the highlights of my boxing career here in South Africa. For yourself as a boxing trainer, for Hot Box Gym, um, for uh, Nonchinga, it's been a really difficult period after what happened with Luduma Lamati, who continues to be in a hospital 
overseas. Can you give us an update on how he is doing? Yeah, I, I can. So Ludumo, I'm happy to say, is going to make a full recovery. Um, and we're just looking forward to him coming home in the next couple of weeks. But uh, we're texting. He's obviously missing home now. And um, I'm just looking forward to his future. Obviously, he won't be boxing again. But he'll live a very, very happy, normal life. And we're looking at bringing him into Boxing 5, um, my promotional company with my partners, Larry and Riaz. Um, and in what capacity, what role, we're not quite sure yet. But Ledumo's doing great. He's just... His recovery has been nothing less than fantastic. So the doctors are happy, um, and obviously as, as his promotional team, Boxing 5, Larry, myself, and, and Riaz, we're just over the moon that it's been such a great recovery, and, and he's going he's gonna to be okay. That's fantastic news. So you mentioned that he is going to be coming home. When will he be coming home? We'll be looking at the next couple of weeks. Um, doctors are quite happy with, with the progress and recovery he's been making. And we're looking probably in the next 15 days or so that he comes back to South Africa. Boxing trainer Colin Nathan, thank you so much for your time here on Newsroom Africa chatting to us about what was a momentous occasion when it comes uh, to South African boxing with uh, what has been the biggest boxing card this year.